Hey guys, it's Ashley, your scrapping nerd, and I'm back with a layout today for 31 Days of Cup Files with MK and Janet, and it is also my 500 YouTube subscriber, uh, YouTube and Instagram hop. And so make sure you check out all the links below for everyone that's hopping along with me. And I'm going to do a Christmas layout. So I have this Lindy's Autumn Maple Crimson, some gold DMC floss, some Distress Ink in Fired Brick, and then these thickers for Merry and Bright. And then my embellishments and my paper is Vicki Booten Warm Wishes. And this is the cut file for day five, and it's Copa Cut Files. And it's a full page of stitching. And so let me tell you, this is a labor of love. So first I decided I wanted it to be red and so I used my fired brick distress ink and I wanted it to be kind of splotchy like that so that it wasn't perfect and kind of, I feel like it adds a little bit of dimension, but I'm going to be going in with the Lindy's sparkle spray so it'll help kind of blend everything together. Sorry if you can hear that plane flying by, because of course when I'm doing a voiceover, then the plane has to fly by. <laughs> but um, so here's that Lin Lindy's Sparkle Spray, and I'm doing the packaging technique to also add splotches to the background. And it's a darker crimson color than the fired brick, so I think it added some really good uh, contrast to the layout. And I couldn't decide if I was going to do the circle at the bottom like this or at the top. But I, oh, and then I went through and did some splatters as well. But I do end up using, turning it so that the circle is at the top. But I let that dry and then I will do the stitching on it. And of course I made a mess as you can see. <laughs> but here's the stitching. And I used that gold floss and I did a back stitch on all of the pieces and then on a couple of them I did like a V shape um, coming off of it. And so I like how that turned out and then you just saw me put a piece of black paper on the back just to back it and kind of cover all my stitching. And so this is a picture of my dogs because for my uh, subby hop I asked everyone to scrapbook their fur babies um, it doesn't have to be fur baby I mean if you have a lizard that still counts as a an animal baby that's what we'll say and uh, so this was a Christmas and my mom had this Santa sleigh that she puts under the tree and she puts all her pictures in so I thought it would be funny to put Yoda in a Santa costume in the sled and then I put my two girls uh, Gracie and Zoe, they have reindeer antlers on them. And I just love this picture. This is one of my all-time favorites of my babies. So I thought, well, this was a good a good time to scrap them. Um, so you can see me just fiddling around. I wanted to add some of this black to it. I thought that it really kind of contrasted. And it makes me laugh because I did all that stitching and I'm going to cover up a lot of it. <laughs> with all of my embellishments. And so I really probably didn't need to stitch from the circle all the way out because I covered all of that. But, you know, such is life, right? And plus it's it was fun. I have never uh, stitched this much on a layout before. And then the gold floss is just shiny and so I really like it. So you can see I'm just going through all of the Vicki Booten uh, Warm Wishes embellishments and just adding little clusters here. I do then also add some of the thicker elements, their um, chipboard elements to the layout as well. So like I said, uh, make sure you check out all the links below. We, I have the links for the 31 days of cut files. I'm not sure if I said, but this cut file was a Copa cut file. And so the links for that will be below and there's a play a playlist and a Facebook page and loads of inspiration on what to do with the cut files. As well as there's a playlist for everyone that's hopping along with me for celebrating my 500 subbies. And you know, about a year ago, I was so nervous about starting my channel. I just decided I just needed to jump in and do it and here I am in a 500 subscriber hop and 
it's like I made all of these new scrapbook friends and that was the point. So thank you to everyone that has liked and subscribed to my channel. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit those buttons below. If you want to be notified of my layouts, just hit the little bell there. I'm just finishing up all of these little clusters. And then I decided I wanted to add some dog elements. And so I have this Doodlebug Doggone Cute collection. And I just love adding, throwing in some unexpected dog ephemera along with the Christmas. And I just love that little dog. It looks like he's the one singing Fa La La. Um, and it's just fun. And then the uh, fire hydrant over there. But I did pop everything up on foam so that it had some dimension. And then I added this last black strip across the bottom just to kind of anchor my huge photo cluster there. And then these are the, the elements from the Thickers, Merry and Bright. But that's the layout, guys. Look at all that stitching that I covered up. <laughs> Makes me laugh but because it took me forever. But anyways, that's the layout. Thanks, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Bye.